gorgeous Taylor and today we are talking about journal. I know more journal talk. Actually we're gonna talk about planners and journals and we can talk about journal peace. Journal planner peace is an illusion. Is it real? Do you get stuck in a rut when you're journaling and get the temptation to just start a new journal and not worry about the one that you have that's not finished? When you're journaling, planning, do you ever feel like like you're being redundant? that there's too much overlap if you use multiple journals or multiple planners do you feel like it's a bit tedious that's what we're going to talk about because i've been feeling that way i've been feeling that the journal overwhelm i've been feeling like like i'm stuck in a rut part of it is the anxiety and the depression and the stress from being sick for a month now i'm not being able to do all the stuff that i really want to do need to do like cleaning the house and doing journaling and making videos and making videos on time getting them up on time and doing stuff for patreon like i really want to because i do really want to but i've had to limit myself to what i can and can't do because i've been sick and i can't do as much as i want to do and yes before yes i i have cut my, i cut my hair and it's slightly off a little so friday i'm going to go have a coupon i'm going to go get my hair trimmed just to have her shape it up because I cut it myself, but I'm trying to let my natural hair color grow out and it's uh, we're getting spring is coming. It's already warm here y'all. We've had warm weather, then the cool weather, the warm weather, then it froze. Y'all up north would not think it was cold. But we've got pollen out and my azaleas are blooming, but it night before it got down and we had ice on the cars the next morning and early this morning. So we've had the air conditioner on and then the next day the heater on and then the air conditioner on and then the next night the heater on. Ridiculous. I've been sick. So that has affected me physically and mentally. It's caused me to get depressed. It's caused my anxiety, my stress level to go up, which means that the journaling is affected. I'm not doing nearly enough text journaling and that might be the problem. I think I need to do big like brain dump but i don't know i don't know it's more than that really it's more than that so we're gonna talk about it here is my omni journal this is the enigma by taroka design i absolutely love this journal so it's not the journal here is yesterday's pages there's the succulent prompt for march that day's prompt so i'm not unhappy with with the journal it's not the journal. It's not the journal. I love the Enigma. I really do want the one with the white paper, which I don't have. This is the got the cream paper in it. The extra Enigma that I had gotten in Happy Mail from my friend Donna is for my novel. I love writing on the pages of this journal with a fountain pen. It's so smooth. The only extra journal that I actually have is a cross field. They're hard to come by, but I and I really want the writer nami paper seven c's writer that's the one with the line but i have the crossfield and i have been thinking about i'm tempted i've been overcoming the temptation for about a week or two now about half the time i've been sick but the the longer i'm sick and the more stressed out i get the more i'm tempted to just start this journal because while being sick i've had extra time because i can't do as much as i want to do like cleaning the house and making the videos like i said so i have extra time on my hands i'm resting and taking it easy and i am doing the art and stuff stuff that doesn't require a lot of physical activity but at the same time i have more time to think more time to think means more time to question there are all different kinds of journalers and planners and all different kinds of planners and journals and you have to find what's yours what you consider to be yours your niche your thing your favorite what works for you what you resonate with whether it's a spiral bound or disc bound like a Erin Condren or a happy planner or inkwell press or a file of facts and ring bell any whatever works for you or a hobonichi or a traveler's notebook with inserts for whatever or a bullet journal or whatever works for you i still haven't figured out my planner piece i'm still working on the planner bullet journal system hobonichi comes in very close to working for me i've always been a list maker so having something like a bullet journal or the hobonichi for planning means less to get notes that get lost and it helps me keep my list together. So it really just depends though on what works for you. But I have noticed that I am having some overlap. I have different things for different purposes. The Omni Journal, the main journal, my hub Grand Central Station journal is where I can put anything and everything. I really don't like to do's on my daily art pages though. My page for illustrate your life thing, um, I don't like the to do's. So 
I've been trying to figure out whether I like the having the weekly thing and I'm realizing that I'm not quite sure because this week I haven't used the weekly thing. I've been using the weekly thing in the bullet journal and in the Hobonichi. Not so sure. I like, I think, having it in my Omni journal to refer back to. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out what, what does and doesn't work for me. I miss text journaling. One of the problems is I need to do that more. So I'm going to start doing that more. And another problem is, is that I've just been so busy doing everything else or trying to rest. Before I got sick, it was so busy doing everything else that I wasn't doing the morning pages what I needed to. I wasn't like text journaling as much because I was busy. Taking the time to rest and relax though, so that I can get well during this period of being sick. Um, I still haven't really done a whole lot of it because it was all I could do to get like my journal pages done and some of the planning done and um, the videos, even though they've been late. I was just, it, was, it took a lot just to get some of that stuff done and to get like just the, I mean, the main things in the house clean, the bathroom, the kitchen and some of the laundry done. So when I felt better Friday and Saturday, I went to cleaning and I cleaned and I cut grass and I overdid it. Then, you know, I'm thinking well, being redundant. Some of the journaling has become tedious. I'm not very happy with what I have, or at least how I have things, and I feel like I'm repeating myself. And I don't mind some repetition. I don't mind a little bit of redundancy because of the ADHD. It actually is better for me to be just a little bit redundant. But when it becomes not just a little bit redundant, when there's not just a little bit of overlap, when it's actually a tedious thing, when it actually feels like a big chore to do that, then there's a problem. What do you do? when you get stuck in a rut with your journaling or with your planning with your journals or planners when you are tempted to start the new one or my hobonichis are sitting over there i've been thinking about redoing how i have things set up in them i've been thinking about using the a6 for the props and i've been thinking about switching up how i do everything including my weeks so uh, let me know what are you doing because right now i'm sorely tempted to change up everything i do with the hobonichis to change up the whole omni journal system that i have because i have bullet journals i have my writing one i have my spiritual book spiritual bullet journal i can't talk still not feeling good my work bullet journal what I'm calling my work bullet journal. Um, I don't know. Let me know because I don't want to feel like a failure. And um, Paper Tams talked about this. I watched her video and I was nodding my head the whole time I watched her video. Um, but some things are just not working and I'm not happy with some things and I need to figure out what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and what I need to do to make some changes so that I'm happy with things so that it's working for me. I really want to fill up the Omni Journal that I have. It, if um, I keep going the way that it's going, it probably should last through um, the end of April, maybe the end of May. It just depends. But if I start adding what I really want to add to it, it won't. So I don't know. I w really, really, really wish One Book July was right now. And I am seriously contemplating making. Just doing One Book July on my own so that I can get back to some basics and kind of figure out what, what works for me. Seriously considering it. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. What do y'all do? And I will get back with you <laughs> on what I decide because, like I said, I'm very tempted. But I know that One Book July has really helped me. Getting back to basics really helps, and I am seriously considering doing that. Um seriously considering doing that yeah anybody else is interested in doing it i know it's not one but i know it's not july so it's not technically time for one book july but if anybody else is thinking along the same lines let me know below because i seriously need to revamp some things and get back to the basics and figure out what will really work for me i don't mind having multiple journals but i really need to reorganize things so that they're working better for me so I can work smarter not harder. Thanks y'all. Bye.